Hey guys, so yeah, I keep saying I'm coming back to YouTube and then I wait like several months um, to make a new one, so there's that. We're just gonna ignore that. But today I just want to talk about something that came up on my time hop a few days ago and I just thought it was really funny and relevant, so why not share it with the internet? So I found a tweet I made two years ago and it was basically along the lines of I'm 16 years old and I don't know what I want to do with my life. I'm freaking out. Uh, I have no ambitions for the future and I don't even know what I like. And I just thought that was really funny because of course I didn't know what I was doing with my life. Like, I was 16. I was a junior in high school. I still had another year and a half until I graduated. I hadn't even started college applications yet. It just seems so silly to me now that when I was 16, I thought I needed to know what my career was going to be and I needed to know what I was working toward and I needed to have this very clear idea of what I wanted for my future. And when you're in high school and you've never really had a life outside of just your public education system and your whole life revolves around school and you've never really had space to explore things, of course you're not gonna know what you wanna do. So that was my first thought when I saw that tweet and I was just like, oh little poor Mel, she's just confused and doesn't know how the world works. But then my second thought was like, is this not how I'm acting right now? <laughs> because now I'm 18 years old, um, which, yeah, I'm a legal adult, but also 18 year olds are like fake adults. Like you don't really know what you're doing when you're 18. And I do feel wiser than my 16 year old self, but I still have not figured out most of my shit. So now I'm having a similar crisis to the crisis that 16 year old Mel was having, but it's much harder to internalize the fact that it doesn't matter if I don't know what I'm doing with my life right now. I'm a freshman now, which means I've committed to four more years of suffering, and the expectation is definitely that you have some sort of path you want to go on when you're in college. However, I'm still just 18 years old, I'm barely an adult, and I don't know what I want to do. So I'm sitting in my college classes every day having a crisis about whether or not these classes matter because I don't really have an idea of what I'm gonna be looking to do with my life in three to four years and I don't know if anything I'm doing matters and like nothing really matters because death is inevitable and nothing really has any real meaning stuff like that so it's great um <laughs> so just like I was laughing at my 16 year old self for having a crisis about not knowing what she wanted to do with her life I feel like in two years I'm gonna look back on where I'm at right now and I'm gonna be like of course 18 year old Mel didn't know what she was doing with her life. She was just 18. And while I will still probably continue to have crises about uh, my future, I am trying to take comfort in that fact because I'm very aware that I'm just young and confused and we all are, and that's okay. So I'm just trying to remind myself of that, and I feel like that's useful for everyone to hear. Because people say this all the time, but it's really true that no one actually knows what they're doing. Like, even your, like, 50-year-old parents, they don't know what they're doing either. They're just winging it. We're all winging it. It's fine. So even if I continue to have these existential crises every single day of my life, I'm just trying to calm down a bit and just put things into perspective, because in a few years, where I'm at right now is just gonna be funny. And hopefully, by then, future Mel will have some sort of idea about what she's doing with her life. Maybe just a little bit more than I do right now. Hopefully. That's the goal. So maybe that was uplifting to like anyone in any stage of their life when you're like, I don't know what I wanna do. Um, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I'm so convincing. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time I make a video. I actually like tried to film a video like a few weeks ago um, about a certain controversy that was going on. It doesn't even matter which one. Um, and I just ended up screaming at the camera for 25 minutes and then I just decided there was no way to salvage any valuable part of that. So I have tried to make videos. If that counts for anything, it probably doesn't. <laughs> Bye.